Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single time. And again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So we're heading into the home stretch of the NFL season, and there's still plenty left to be played for as playoff, the picture is beginning to take shape, but there's still a lot that could happen. So we're going to take a look at some of the key matchups for the week. And again, remember, if you're not already a member, you can join up here, and you'll have access to the Z-Code VIP Club section. And you see it has all these wonderful tools to help you make your picks. So let's scroll down here and take a look at some of the games for this weekend. Chicago and Minnesota. First game we really want to look at is down here. Houston and Indianapolis. The Colts are burning hot at the moment. They are battling the Titans for the lead in the AFC South. While the Texans have been eliminated from playoff contention they are at four and nine you can see they have an average down status and you can see here that the Colts are a 1.31 to 3.46 favorite and the over under is 52.5 and the line is seven and a half it's up to seven and a half points of more than a touchdown uh spread for the Colts so let's take a look at some of the other things here we can Fine, we've got the power rankings indicator. You can see here that the Colts are at plus 22, and the Texans have dropped from 11 down to plus 7. If you look at the head to head matchups, you can see that the two teams met just very recently, right? Look, December 6th, and the Colts were a 26 to 20 winner on the road in that one. You're considering the over and under in this one, which we often do. You can see here that the Texans are playing in games trending under the line. The Colts are playing in games trending over the line. Generally, when it's on opposite sides of the line, I tend to avoid placing a bet on that one. I want to see how consistent the teams have been according to the favorite underdog status. Let's take a look at the volatility oscillator. You can see here that both teams are remarkably consistent. Texans at plus 9, Colts at plus 6, and they are consistently performing according to their favorite underdog status. Let's take a look at the line here. And we can see here, where's the line up here? Like, like again, I said it was a seven and a half point spread for the Colts. What I think is going to happen is much the same as what happened the first time. This time the Colts will win by even a further margin. So they will win and cover the spread. Jacksonville and Baltimore. Here's the next matchup we want to take a look at. The New England Patriots and the Miami Dolphins. The Patriots are battling, battling for their playoff positioning. They're just six and seven on the season. While well, the Dolphins are in the mix at 8-5. and five. See, both teams have average status at the moment. The Dolphins are a slight home favorite at 1.72 to 2.13. That translates to a line of 2.5 points, and the over-under is at 41.5. Look at the power ranking indicator. You can see that the Dolphins have the edge here. They are at plus 23. New England has improved from plus 9. They're all the way up now to plus 19. Look at the head-to-head -head matchup. New England won the first meeting as a home favorite by a 21 to 11 score back on September the 13th. And let me scroll back down to that game. There we go. And considering the over and under, New England is playing in games trending well under the line here. You see minus six points. Miami's playing in games trending under, under the line as well. So expect a low scoring game and betting the under is a wise play. How consistent have the two teams been? Are they performing according to their favorite underdog stats? Well, pretty much, especially for Miami, plus four. And New England at plus two, not quite as consistent, but both are pretty much performing that way. We want to take a look at the updated line. Let's take a look here. The money line, you can see here the opening was at 1.641 for Miami. And you can see it is currently at 1.719. So it has moved slightly, but not a significant amount. In the end, I think that what's going to happen is that Miami has enough to hold off the Patriots and they will win by a field goal. Let's take a look at some of the other matchups. Here's the Seattle 
Seahawks and the Washington football team. Washington is burning hot at the moment. They're 6-7. and seven. They have won their last four. The Seahawks are average at the moment, but they are tied for first place with the Rams in the NFC West with a 9-4 and four record. Look at this. Seattle is a pretty substantial road favorite at 1.41 to 3.11. That translates to a 6-point spread in this one. You look at the power rankings indicator. Washington has bolted up to plus 29 because they're four-game winning streak. Seattle has been up and down. They were at plus 17 on November 16th. They climbed up to 26, and now they're back down to plus 19. Considering the over and under, Seattle was playing in games trending over. Now they are playing in games trending under the line, and Washington is playing in games trending over the line. Since they are on opposite sides of the line, I generally try to avoid the pick in that scenario. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator, how stable have the two teams been? You can see that uh, Seattle is at plus four, Washington is at plus two, so moderately stable, pretty well performing according to their favorite underdog status. So what does that mean in this case? I feel like the Redskins have been playing very well, obviously. They will keep it close. Somehow I feel that Seattle, Russell Wilson, he will find a way to win it. In the end, I think Seattle wins, but the Redskins will cover. Tampa Bay and Atlanta. North Jets and the Rams. We're not going to take a look at that one either. Philadelphia Eagles and Arizona Cardinals. The Eagles broke a four-game losing streak with a win. A surprise win over the Saints. They are ice cold up at the moment. And 4-8-1 and one on the season. The Cardinals are at 7-6. Still in the playoff hunt. They are also ice cold up. You can see that the Cardinals are a 1.37 to 3.175 uh, favorite. Which translates to a line of 6.5 points. And over under a 49.5. Take a look at the power ranking indicator. Cardinals on a downward trend. They were at plus 26. They are down to plus 13. And the Eagles have remained stable at, down here at plus 6. Look at the over-under. The Eagles have been trending in games under the line ever since the beginning of November. And the Cardinals have been trending in the games under the line ever since the end of September. So this is a golden opportunity to cash in on the over-under bet. Bet the under on this one. Volatility oscillator, how stable have the two teams been? And not too stable. See, both only at plus one. So what does that mean? Their favorite underdog status doesn't really mean a whole lot. So take that with a grain of salt. So what I th think is going to happen is I expect the Cardinals will probably end up winning the game. You never know. Look what happened with the Eagles beating the Saints last week. But I think the Eagles playing better lately since this last week. I feel like they have a chance to cover the spread, but probably will not win the game. If you want to look at the way the line is real quickly before we move on to the last one, you can see it opened at 1.41, and it really hasn't moved all that much. It's moved to 1.37, so there's been a slight movement in the line, but not anything drastic. Okay, now, the game of the week. The Kansas City Chiefs and the New Orleans Saints. The Chiefs enter with a 12-1 record and winners of 8 straight. The Saints are at 10-3. and three. You see that the Chiefs are burning hot at the moment. The Saints are burning hot down. And the Chiefs have a, an advantage here as far as the line goes. They are 1.51 to 2.59 favorite, which translates to a point spread of 3.5. The over-under is set at 51.5. Look at the power rankings indicator. Not surprising, both teams are up here right at the top. Chiefs at 31. The Saints at plus 30. This is a battle of the Titans, basically. You're considering the over and under... The Chiefs are playing in games trending under the line. The Saints are as well, so I would actually tend to lean towards the under in this one, even though both teams are capable of putting up lots of points. It's showing that we should probably play the under. Look at the volatility oscillator. How stable have the two teams been? You can see Kansas City is at plus 8, and New Orleans is at plus 6, so they are both pretty well performing according to their uh, fair and underdog status. Let's look at the line here. Uh, has there been much of a change in the line? You can see it opened here, the Chiefs line here at 1.481, and it's moved slightly, not a whole lot. It's moved to 1.51, so there has been some movement in the line to 1.51. So what does that tell us for the game? 
again, this is going to be the game of the week. I believe it's going to be a, a tight one. Both teams are, are doing very well. It's going to be a tight one for a while, but I believe that Kansas City will pull away at the end. They will win and cover the spread. I'm thinking a six or seven point victory in this one. So there you have it. Those are the picks for the week. I hope you enjoy. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.